Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to walk you through how to update your ProStitcher. Now this is a two-step process. We start by going to our computer, going to ProStitcher.com, and downloading the update. So let's take a look at the screen here, and I'll walk you through where you need to go. So here's the ProStitcher.com. We'll choose the ProStitcher here, and come down and choose Software. This will take me to where the latest updates are. Now you can see that there's a lot of different options here. We've got premium and we've got premium beta. Depending on which version you want to download would depend on which one you'll choose. If you're going to choose to do the beta software, please read through here where it says talking about the beta software so that you understand that this software is still in testing, um, the testing phase and we are very happy to have all of you quilters out there help us make sure that the software is ready to go. All right, let's go back to just the regular premium tab, and I'll click here on latest version. Now this opens up and lets me see the four different versions of ProStitcher that I can download. Um, according to my machine manufacturer, it's very important that you, cl you click on the one that matches your machine manufacturer. Today I'm quilting on an Amara, so I will choose Handy Quilter. And you can see right down here at the bottom of my screen, I have my download going on. And if I click this button up, it will actually show in my folder, uh, the zipped folder as it is downloading. Once your file has finished downloading, locate it in your uh, File Explorer window here. And you'll notice that it has the little zipped file next to it. That means that we need to extract this file. So I will do a right click and come down and choose Extract All. Now be aware that your computer may have that Extract All or um, button in a different place, but it's usually on that right click menu. The computer will set up a destination to extract the files. It will just do it right here into my downloads. I'll go ahead and click Extract, and it just takes a minute or so, and it will go ahead and do that folder. Now this is the one that's still zipped. Right up here, it has that same title, PSP Update, and then the correct numbers after it that you downloaded is right here at the end. And that's the folder that I want to be sure and transfer to my USB drive. If I transfer the one that has not been extracted, the ProStitcher tablet will not recognize it. I now have my extracted folder here. Uh, there's two ways to copy this to my jump drive, my USB. I can either do a right click and choose copy. And then on my D drive, which uh, on my computer is where my USB goes, I do a right click again and do paste. And it will copy it to that USB drive. Now I can also click on this and drag it if I choose to, whichever way you're more comfortable with. This process will just take a moment. And once it's complete, you want to be sure and safely eject your jump drive from your computer. So once again, we'll do a right click and we'll choose eject. And once it's disappeared from my menu here, I know it's okay to go ahead and grab my jump drive, my USB drive. Now, I'm gonna go back to my Pro Stitcher, and I'm gonna put my jump drive right here in the distribution port on the back of my uh, Pro Stitcher tablet. There's two USB ports. Doesn't matter which one you stick it in. Either one is just fine. So we'll go ahead and pop it in there. On the screen, when I pop that up, I get this uh, Windows Explorer um, window that pops up. We can just close this. So just touch the X in the top right corner. Now to go ahead and run the update. File tab, we'll select our file tab, then we'll touch update. And the software will automatically look for the update that's available on that stick. You choose the update you want. And once it's selected, it turns kind of that black. Then in the bottom right corner, I'll touch Run. 
and you'll actually hear your pro stitcher motors disengage. Your pro stitcher is uh, shutting down the software and on the screen we have this checking pro stitcher premium updater it's going to come up. Now it will tell you what your current installed version is and what your restore version is. I'm going to go ahead and run this. It doesn't hurt anything to run the same one, but you can see that I actually have the same update. That's okay. I will touch start and I want to make sure that I have the correct machine selected. You'll notice that I have Amara selected. That is the machine I'm using. That's correct. Go ahead and touch next. Confirm. It will go ahead and run that update. It may take a few minutes. It just depends on your tablet. Okay, it lets you know when the installation's complete. You go ahead and click close. Now, this next step is very important. You can see that my tablet is restarting. However, it is really, really important that at this point you let the Pro Stitcher go ahead and boot up here, but then you need to shut down your tablet first, then go to the back of your machine, turn it off, be sure and unplug from the wall, especially with the most recent versions of Pro Stitcher, the carriages. They actually have two, um, a separate plug just for the carriage. We need to turn everything off, leave it off for about a half a minute or so, then you can plug back in the carriage, turn your machine back on from the back, and then reboot your Pro Stitcher tablet. At that point, your update's all done, and you're ready to start stitching with your Pro Stitcher.